And Lauren Jackson joins us now on The Jump. Lauren, welcome to you. Hey, how are you going? We are going very well. Uh, how about the team and yourself and the excitement around, I guess, the fact that this is a massive thing, not just for women's basketball in this country, but for women's sport in Australia. What does it mean to you guys to be able to play at John Kane Arena? Yeah, look, I think it's it's really exciting. I think it's just more a celebration of where the game's at at the moment. I think off the back of the World Cup, there's just a lot of support for the women's game. And, um, you know, we've seen crowds rising uh, across the WNBL, which has been awesome. And, um, yeah, it's, it's just going to be a celebration of the sport and, and where we're going. So it's, it's really exciting. And, Loz, it's been an incredible 12 months for yourself at coming back and we saw highlights of what you did at the World Cup. Uh, I guess one of the motivations for what you're doing is that little munchkin over your right <laughs> shoulder as well. Do, does he and you, your two boys, do they really appreciate what you've been able to do? Are they starting to sink in for them, albeit they're still pretty young? Yeah, look, I think Harry, um, you know, I think he's loving seeing me play again. I think Lenny's probably a little bit too young to understand what's going on. I think he's probably taken it a little bit harder than what Harry has, especially being away and everything. But um, Harry loves it. I mean, he's, you know, so into the basketball and um, the motivation, yeah, is for them to be around the team. And, you know, I remember being a kid myself and following my parents around. I think it's just such a special gift to, to give kids being in a team, team environment <laughs> and <laughs> everything. So this is Harry, everyone. Hello, Harry. Hey, Harry, what do you think of your mum playing basketball? <laughs> she go all right? Yeah. Do you play? Yeah. <laughs> Are you any he's good? Aussie Hooper. <laughs> Aussie Hoops, yeah. He reckons he's pretty good. Oh, no, he's going to be yeah. great. He's never going to beat me. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't doubt that either, Loz. I reckon your competitive spirit might make it tough for the, the little man. But, hey, Loz, when you think back on, on that moment um, and what you were able to do at the World Cup, did, did it meet your expectations? Was it as you thought it would have been? Yeah, look, it was, it was so special. Um, the journey just getting to the World Cup was pretty epic. But, um, look, regardless of that last game, it was a really special time. And, like, even just getting the minutes that I got and, um, you know, playing in the team and being a part of that team was just so special. And, um, you know, I've talked about the journey and how incredible it was to get there and how special it was. But it really has been one of the greatest times of my life, you know, and to be able to do it in front of my kids and on home soil, not having to travel and everything. It's uh, It's been amazing. I mean, you've won WNBA championships, MVPs, you've been to four Olympics. Where does the last 12 months or so, I guess, sit or rank for you, given that you do get to share it with your kids this time around? Oh, look, it's right up there. I mean, it would have to be the best time of my life. I mean, really, um, you know, I never thought I'd get the opportunity to play basketball in front of my kids, especially at that level. Um, and to do it and have that perspective and I guess the person that I am today as opposed to the person that I was 10 years ago, um, it's just been the most, you know, incredible time of my life. I mean, there's been ups and downs, like don't get me wrong, but it's um, it's been just amazing to be able to share this with them and, um, and with Australia, so... And, and Loz, you, you're playing with the Flyers, so you, you're doing some some really good stuff in the, the WNBL, which you've had done throughout your entire career, of course. But when you think of 12 months away or a little bit more than 12 months and another Olympic <laughs> opportunity, I know yourself that you've sort of said, no, that, that that's not going to happen. But I start to think, well, why not? The way you play, your, your experience goes beyond just the points and the baskets. Is it something, has, has the official them come to you and said, hey, Lars, just keep going a little bit longer? Oh, look, there's definitely, you know, people are in my ear. There's no doubt about it. But I think, you know, it's going to come down to my body. Um, and I think as well, at the moment, I'm starting to feel like a basketball player again. I mean, it's, it's funny to say it, but like at the Worlds, I, I still didn't feel like I had my touch and my timing and it was still sort of all coming to me. And I, I really feel like it's actually started to click, you know, in the last couple of months. And so it's, you know, it's going to be interesting to see where this season finishes up and, and what I do from here. But I'm not, you know, I'm not going to commit to anything at all because I just don't know how long it can go. And also, too, the toll that it's taking on the kids and me being away and stuff, it's, it's, a, it's a lot on them. So... Mm. Physically, though, how is the body feeling? I mean, do you spend a lot more time recovery these days rather than training and you just get up for games? Like, how does that all work for you and how are you feeling? 
Oh, look, I've had, I've, you know, I've had a couple of little issues along the way. Um, but, you know, it's just about managing my body. And and to be honest, like I've probably never been stronger. So surprisingly, wow. my knees are really good. Um, the most issues that I've had have been in my feet. And it's, that's, you know, it kind of is hard, you know, having to deal with those. But um, it's just the fact that I am getting older. I'm pretty full of arthritis and... Yes, I've just got to get in those ice bars and really love them and lap them up. <laughs> hey, Loz, what do you make of uh, the WNBL and, and women's basketball in, in a more broader sense under a lot of competition now, whether it's soccer, whether it's the AFL, the cricket? We're going through a great period where uh, female athletes are getting opportunities that they've never, never had in the past. Uh, is, is the basketball keeping pace? Yeah, well, look, I think, you know, five years ago, I'm... I've, I would have said, you know, we were struggling a little bit and we were falling behind, but I really believe that in the last sort of 12 months or so, 12, 24 months, we've, you know, started getting that visibility up again. Um, we've got partners on board. The league is thriving. The product has never been an issue. You know, we've always had great athletes, like world-class talent. Um, now it's more about visibility and having people watching the game. And I think off the back of the World Cup, you know, that's the greatest platform we could have had right here in Australia to really... Um, you know, push the sport. So I, I feel like, yeah, we are keeping up and I feel like Basketball Australia is doing great work in that space at the moment and I'm loving being a part of it. Well, the Flyers' attendance has been going through the roof since you <laughs> arrived and we've seen the pictures, we've seen the vision of, like, people snaked around the stadiums waiting to get a photo with you or an autograph. How has that all sat with you and, and how have you enjoyed that whole experience with the Flyers so far? I've had the time of my life at the Flyers. I mean, they're a great organisation. They care a lot about their athletes. Um, and, you know, obviously having Jerry Ryan leading that, but um, Cheryl Chambers as a coach, we've, it's a great organisation to be a part of. So I've thoroughly enjoyed my time. Um, and for me, signing autographs is the least I can do. I just feel like I've been given another um, opportunity to play this sport that I love. And I'm just, you know, relishing in it every minute. And the fact that we are getting so many fans come out and support us and, um, yeah, just, uh, of course, you know, I want to try and do whatever I can for people um, while I'm still out there playing. Hey, look, and you've played in every nook and cranny in this world. <laughs> you've been in and, and, and the most, the, the greatest leagues and some of them are still with us, some of them are not there and you've seen a whole variety of things. Where, without a, a WNBL, how does it sit right now? Yes, that the product's really good, but sometimes it's a little hard to compare. You've been and played in every one of them. How do you compare it? I think it's um, the night in, night out talent. And I think, you know, across the league, you saw sort of the bottom team in the league beat one of the top teams tonight, which was a pretty epic game. Um, we've got a lot of young talent and hoping that we can keep more, keep more and more young Australian talent in the country and not have everyone going offshore to college. I mean, it's a great option, don't get me wrong, mm. but it, it'd be great to have a girls coming through our pathways into the WNBL. Um, but look, I think, you know, across the board, the standard is great and we're getting great athletes out here from overseas. So, yeah. you know, um, it's the WNBA obviously is that the pinnacle, there's no doubt, but I think that the WNBL could definitely compete with any of the other leagues in the world. And that, you know, like I truly believe in that. Last week, we saw one of your teammates in her 251st oh. WNBL game just absolutely torch the Boomers, the reigning yeah. premiers uh, or the champions. Um, 41 points. I mean, she just keeps getting better and better with age, doesn't she? How was that watching yeah. for you? Oh, God, it was incredible just playing with her, you know. Um, being on the court, it was just like past Sarah the ball. Like, mm. there's no reason why that ball shouldn't be in her hands every time down the court because, I mean, she went 15 from 17 from the field. You know, to get 40 points, people have to take, you know, 30 shots a lot of the time. And she, you know, the, the efficiency at which she shot at, um, like you said, Sarah is definitely getting better and better. And I think coming off the back of the World Cup, it was hard for, you know, a month or two there just trying to get back into the swing of things and stuff. But she's really started to find her form and um, it's very exciting for our team, let me tell you. And she's, you know, and she's a great person too. Like what a beautiful human. Mm. <laughs> like it's, you couldn't have been anyone better to have for it to happen to. And she's finding her form, mm. but so are the Flyers because uh, you've won your last five games as well. You knocked off the Spirit and the Boomers. How do you feel the, the team's going so far? How have you assessed it? 
Look, I think, um, you know, we're on track. You know, we started off a bit rocky. We had a few injuries, a bit of sickness. Um, and then, you know, of course, chemistry is such an important thing. And none of us, well, the girls that were coming into the team hadn't played with, you know, the Southside Flyers at, of old. So, you know, there was some chemistry issues and then learning to play with each other and, and stuff like that. And then defensively as well, like understanding how each one, how each of us guard people and how that was going to work in a team environment. And we, I think we've sort of come through that and we're, you know, on the, on the way up, but, you know, in saying that there's some great teams in this league and um, we've just got to keep getting better and focus on us. And I think that if we keep with, with that mindset um, of just focusing on our game, our defense, our strengths, our weaknesses, I think that we, you know, we're in, in a good position. Well, you've got Perth on Friday night and then we can't wait, of course, for Feb 4 against the Sydney mm -hmm. Flames. John Kane Arena tickets went on sale at midday mm -hmm. today. Ticketek, make sure you get out there and get your tickets. Are 20 bucks a ticket. Hey, Nat, cheapest oh, tips too. So I mean, it, it's going yeah. to see this top quality oh. of basketball. Very, very affordable. So make sure if you want a great experience, get out there and get your tickets and see... Uh, the goat <laughs> running around. Are we going to pack out You're the, the goat, stadium? Really. <laughs> oh God, I love you. Two goats here, right here. 9,000 fans. You. Let's get there for John Kane Arena. Lauren, love thank you. you so much and for Harry. joining us on the jump. Little and hopes. Harry, That's give us a wave, thing. Harry. There he is. Hey. hey. <laughs> Do a man, Harry. He'll be at John Kane now Arena. get out and work on that jump shot. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Thanks, Lauren. A pleasure talking to you. <laughs> That's good.